Drone and energy warfare continues in Syria. Recently, a convoy carrying Iranian oil to Lebanon was hit by drone attack. The attack happened at the Syria-Iraq borders. In this report, we bring you more about what's been happening recently in Syria. Let's take a look. Syria has been a war zone for over a decade. Multiple foreign actors have been involved in the nation's conflict. Late on Tuesday, another incident took place. A fuel convoy had entered the country from Iraq through the Al Qaim border crossing. The convoy reportedly included over 20 fuel tanker trucks. They were carrying Iranian oil. The destination was Lebanon. Border police officials say the convoy has obtained all necessary legal approvals from Iraq. But soon after the convoy crossed into Syria, it was attacked. An unidentified drone hit the convoy. Reports say at least two of the trucks were destroyed. But no group has come forward to take credit for the attack. Iranian state media has blamed the US. The U.S. is one of the nations with a military presence in Syria. Their presence is with the approval of the Syrian government. They are there to fight ISIS. But the U.S. has attacked Iran-backed militias in Syria as well. However, the U.S. denied that it was involved in Tuesday's attack. Despite the denial, there are some who believe the U.S. attack was to harm Lebanon. Lebanon has been suffering from an economic crisis. The fuel shipment would help the country ease some of its energy problems. The U.S. has also been accused of not letting Jordan or Egypt provide fuel to Lebanon either. The accusation is that this is being done to help Israel. These allegations come after Israel and Lebanon signed a historic maritime border deal recently. The US mediated the deal. Speaking of Israel, it too was blamed for the convoy attack. The Israeli army refused to comment on the incident. Besides Iran, Israel and the US, Jordan too has plans to conduct operations in Syria. Last week, Jordan's foreign minister, Ayman al-Safadi, met with his Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov. Jordan plans to work with Russia in southern Syria. The aim is to counter multi-billion dollar drug smuggling across its border. Earlier this year, Jordan changed its army rules of engagement along its border with Syria. Amman gave its military the authority to use overwhelming force. Meanwhile, reports say Russia has also increased military police patrols along the Syrian side of the border. And Russia's assistance to Syrian government forces continues as well. On Sunday, a joint operation took place near the northwestern city of Idlib. The region is one of the last outside the Syrian government's control. After the shelling, Syrian government outposts were attacked in retaliation. Reports say the counterattack was carried out by the jihadist Hayat Tahrir al-Sham organization and Turkey-backed militias. With so many foreign actors involved, peace in Syria continues to look elusive. West Asia Bureau, we...